Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw basic physical fixtures in real time. So basically what that means is I'm going to show you how to make a game that will allow the user to draw their own kind of, like, it will allow them to draw their own fixtures at whatever size they want. I'm going to use Illustrator, which you can see just here, to like kind of just draw out what's going on in the code, because some of it can be hard to explain. And once again, this is pre-typed code, so I'm just going to take you through it and explain it all. And yeah, alright, so first things first, um, you're going to want to create a physics world, so just like this. I've already got mine set up. I've just got the walls around the edges, and yeah. This here is not a physical object. I'll take you through what it is soon. But yeah, first things first, we're going to want to create two objects. So, as you can see down this list, there's a whole heap of objects. Ignore most of them. Ignore everything except object box there and object box create. That's all I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, so the first one you want to do is make object box. You don't have to call it object box, but that's just what I did. Alright, and then after you've made that one, make another one called objects box create. Again, doesn't have to be by that name, that's just what I used. Okay, so starting off with object box, once you've got it made, ignore the draw GUI code, you're not going to need that. Just open up the create event code and ignore these two lines here. All you want is C equals 0, H equals 0, and W equals 0. In fact, hang on. Ignore C as well. All you need is W and H. And all that stands for is width and height. Okay, so just set those both to 0, and that object's done. Oh, another thing. If you followed my setting up basics physics tutorial to make your physics world, you'll have object dynamic parent and object static parent parent it to dynamic parent because this object is going to hold the actual physical fixture. Okay, so you can get rid of that and now you want to go into your object box to create or whatever else you might have called it and yeah, get into the create event code. XX equals X, YY equals Y. You can set those to zero if you want. I just set it to X and Y. It's a habit I've got. Probably not a good one but oh well create equals false. We're going to use that to tell whether we are or are not currently drawing or creating one of the fixtures. And H and W is to record the height and width of the fixture that we're making. Okay. Now, step event is the most complicated. I'm going to go down to draw event first. And I'll just show you this. Now create, again, is if we are creating or not creating the um, fixture itself. So when we are creating it, we want to do all this stuff here. Alright, so the first line, we set the color to red. The next one, we set the alpha to 0 0.5. We draw a rectangle at the height and width that we are currently drawing the fixture at. Set the alpha back to 1, draw another rectangle at the height and width that we're drawing the fixture at again, and set the color back to black, which is what it's set at normally. Um, then, you don't have to do this, but I did just for debug reasons, it draws how wide it is in pixels and how high it is in pixels. Okay, now we'll go into the complicated stuff in the step event code. Uh, I guess it's not really that complicated, but for an someone who doesn't really know what they're doing with GML it is. Okay, first things first. Ignore that. You don't need it. Okay, next thing is like just the mouse check button. So if the mouse button is pressed, so the left mouse button is pressed, we we'll to set create to true because we are now creating a fixture. Set this object's x to the mouse x and this object's y to the mouse y. Okay, now if create is true, which after pressing that it is, if it's true, xx you want to set to mouse x as well, and yy you want to set to mouse y. So xx and yy is going to help us record how like wide it is and how high it is. Okay, so going into Illustrator, I'll just get rid of that. 
Okay. So as an example, so we've got this is x and y, this point here, and this is x, x and y, y. So the rectangle would be drawn like that, but with straight edges, obviously. Okay, so back to game maker. Height equals xx and no width equals xx and h equals yy. That's just for the height and width. Yeah. Okay, now when the mouse button is released, we want to actually create a fixture. But to make sure that it's not just being released, even when we're not drawing it, you want to also check if create is true or not. If it is, then it'll go through and create the fixture. Okay, first thing you want to do is set create to false, because once we let go of the mouse button, this is all made, we don't want to be continuously creating the fixture. Okay, so there I, that is for creating our instance, and from the looks of it, I've left that in there when it's not needed, and yes I have. Okay, ignore there I, you don't need that. Alright, W equals X and H equals Y, Y, that's again setting the width and height of the fixture according to our x, x and y, y variable. Now remembering that when we first create, like when we first click, x is set to our mouse position, so right there that would be where our mouse position is, that's x and y, and then as you drag out, x, x and y, y follows your mouse, so it might be there at one point, then you draw out down here somewhere so it goes there, so on so on. Okay, so then W, oh sorry, hang on a second, once this is done, once we've set those, we want to actually create object box now, remembering that this is the object that holds the fixture, and then from there we just create the fixture inside of that object, because we're using the width statement. Okay, so there B, that's used just as something for the physics fixture, so B for box. Alright. Um width equals other dot W and H equals other dot H. That's these variables here, so it's setting its own W and H variables to those ones. Okay. Now we create the fixture there. Then we set the shape of it in this one. Okay, so B because that's what we've defined the fixture variable as. ABS is for absolute. What this does is it gives you a positive value, like if it's negative. So basically, it just times your number by minus one. Okay, so WX, no, W minus X divided by two. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I thought it did at first as well, but then I kind of worked it all out. Now, W minus X. So width is the width value that we've got here and x is this object's current x position. Now what this does is it makes sure that like this um, object or fixture, whatever you want to call it, is created at the same point that we're drawing from, so at the other object's x and y position. And then that divides it by 2 because it's only half the width. All right, and then it's the same thing here except for h, and then half of that again. All right. Density, friction, restitution, oh, I'll look at There we go. Restitution, linear dampening, angular dampening, whatever, those are just physics variables. You should know what those are by now anyway. Bind the object to that instance. Physics fixture delete to stop the memory leaks. And then we set the position. Now, this is basically the same little algorithm thingy we've got up here. So again, it just puts it in the correct spot, right? So it just sets the position to where we draw it. Global.created plus equals one and C equals global.created. Ignore those two lines. Don't use them. That was for like a um undo thing that I had going. You don't need them. But yeah, that should be working now. So just with all that code there, the create event code, the draw event code and the other object should all be working. Now I don't like when you making your room, don't make the mistake of instead of putting the object box create in, which is what this object here is, don't make the mistake of putting object box in, because that's not going to work. Now, once you've got all that set up, all you need to do to draw an object is run the game, 
then this object will have you draw it as soon as you left click drag it along and release it so I'll just run this now um, this will work on devices as well I know it works on Android I haven't checked iOS because I don't have the export but yeah alright so this is a game screen you just click drag along let go and that's supposed to work now obviously one of my ob other objects is messing stuff up here so yeah I'm gonna have to fix that so I'll just pause the video while I find the problem with that and then I'll get back to you okay silly me has forgotten about this All right, um, you can just drop that in your object box create draw event so just their flag flag equals physics debug render comms shapes and render ob um, if you don't know what that is I honestly can't remember what they all do basically what it does is it just, just sets the flag for this function here which draws the bodies joints whatever you want it to do to the screen without actually using any sprites so if you don't know what they are just have a look in the um, game maker help um, menu thingy whatever you call it um, and yeah that'll tell you but anyway you just want to put that code in object box create draw event make sure you put it like um as you know you can put it after that I guess after or before this bit doesn't really matter but yeah just drop it in there and then it will work so actually I might as well do that okay so in that object I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy. And then just drop it in here. Like that. Okay. Now I can get rid of that little object. And now, if you run the game, it should work. So you just click and drag and let go and there you have it. Now that might be kind of hard to see, maybe a little easier now it's gone to sleep. But yeah, you can just draw pretty much any shape. So this ABS thing that I was telling you about with the absolute value, this is for if someone happens to click here and drag this way, it'll still collide properly. If you don't have it, the occlusions are like weird. I think they get flipped, I don't know for sure though. Anyway, you can just draw the objects that you want, whatever size, doesn't matter. Like you can draw them full screen size and mess with everything if you want. But yeah, that's how it's done. And that'll work on devices as well. As I said before, I haven't tested the iOS, but I know it works on Android. Alright, so, yeah, thanks for watching. That's how it's done. Subscribe, like the video, um, all of that. Again... If you need any help with anything, send me a message on YouTube and I will be happy to make a tutorial for you as long as I know how to do it myself. If not, I'll see if I can work something out for you. But yeah, thanks for watching.